Hi and welcome to this hands-on review of CyberPaint for Daydream VR. My name is Sebastian and this channel of course is called Daydream District, bringing you the latest and greatest of Daydream VR. So if this is your first time here and you would like to stay up to date about anything Daydream VR, consider subscribing. And now CyberPaint starts already and it looks as I can choose the format here, landscape, square, portrait or 360 degrees panorama and I can choose the resolution even the language I can choose and then I can continue okay that's a good start so now let's go for the 360 degrees panorama and then let's simply go and here we are already so cyber paint as the name suggests is actually a painting and drawing app for Daydream VR. Actually, this should be the very first painting and drawing app for the platform. It is in the Daydream Play Store now and you can pick it up for 5 euro and 99 cents. And I just did that. So I'm very curious to find out if this is a great app or if this is not a great app. And well, you will find out during this hands-on review. As you know, this format, I'm checking out the new apps for the very first time and afterwards I will give you my first impressions. So normally for these hands-on reviews, I will play the games or use the app for around 10 minutes. And if I'm sucked in by the apps or games, then I will use them longer. But normally I would go for them for 10 minutes and see how the games perform and or how the apps play like. So let's see how it goes here. All right, so let's play around with this here a bit. So here are different kind of brushes. And yeah, I can draw in 360 degrees all around me. This is what I choose in the very beginning. If you know this channel and if you know me by watching this channel, you know that I absolutely suck at art. It looks terribly normally when I try out this kind of apps and oh, even a four year old can do better than me. But anyways, I'm trying here. So now I just tried a brush stroke. It's very fat. That was my first impression now. This brush stroke was very fat. Probably I can change the size of this brush stroke. And well, here are lots of tools. Lots of things I can do here. So these are dynamic modifiers. Hopefully I will find out during the course of this video how this works. So here I can I can change the brush size, for example. Okay, this works well enough. It's a, still a bit huge in my opinion, but we will see what we can do here. So they quite have lots of different brush types which is already very cool, I think. So now let me change the color. Now I use this green. And I'm modifying the brush size a bit. It's a bit smaller, but it's still pretty huge. But that's good so I can more easily and more faster fill up this canvas here, this 360 degrees canvas. So now as you see, I use a different brush stroke and you know what, I'm simply going to do some modern art painting. I think that's the only thing I can do actually, which might turn out great. And probably I can sell this off digitally for hundreds of euros or thousands. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> Anyways, let me still go on here. So this is actually the first drawing and painting app for Daydream VR. If you don't count in the great sculptor VR or for example, Altspace, because within Altspace, there's also a drawing app. But in this drawing app here, you can also paint in this kind of 360 spheres, which I do right now. But you can also draw in 2D mode, which I'm going to try out later. Wow, look at this effect. Wow, this looks incredible. My goodness, this looks actually cool. I'm very surprised by my own capability to create art here. And now I'm using this, this kind of brush and adding some triangles to the mix. And look at what I created here. It actually it does not look so bad. I'm very surprised by myself here. So thanks to CyberPaint, I can create some cool pieces of art that don't look shitty. <laughs> this is very surprising for me right now. So let me add some green here to the mix as well. 
if you're wondering this cool color effect that I was just using that made everything look very cool indeed is called chemical and there are a few effects that I can use in order to modify the colors. So this cool effect was called chemical and there are some other effects that I'm going to try out later. So and here you can see lots of different modifiers. I don't still understand how to use them. And here the materials, materials, for example, texture, color, fluid. Oh, here, fluid is also interesting. It will change all the other colors around when I'm when I'm uh, drawing. Very nice. And of course, the color picker. So this app has quite a lot of very interesting textures and modifiers. Oh, this one looks cool. Very nice. It's spelled M-O-I-R-E. Well, how would I pronounce it? Probably moi, if it's French. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, this chemical one is my favorite. It looks so trippy. This might be the best app after you have consumed some substances i might say <laughs> depending in which depending on in which um, state you live that might be illegal or not illegal <laughs> oh well anyways this might be the perfect app for you to try it out after you have used such substances because it does look very very trippy look at what i've been creating here and i'm completely sober not even a beer right now. Very sober and I have to tell you guys and girls who are watching this, it is fun. It is really fun to play around. And that's from somebody who is really not artistically inclined, if I can say so. I'm really not very, very um, gifted with being artistic. But look at what I've been doing here. This is very fun and uh, yeah, you can basically really simply try out things and the results thanks to these incredible algorithms that they use they look quite good and quite interesting so let me try out some more stuff here the textures we have already checked some of them and here the size oh oh you can still swipe and see different kind of modifiers spacing opacity hue value saturation oh this app is full of interesting things to change would be so great if there would be um, a tutorial for beginners so now i'm simply trying out stuff however i'm not really sure what exactly i'm doing well of course i know what is opacity but there's so many different ways to change it here or is it like if you roll, for example, your daily motion controller, you can change it. Or if you change the yaw, and you can even fade over time. Oh, there's so many things you can do here. Would be awesome if there was like a little tutorial, dear developer, which would kind of introduce the app to me. Or was there one and I simply skipped it? I have to check that again. Anyways, would be awesome if probably even from within the app now, that I could um, reach the tutorial if I skipped it from the beginning. I don't re really remember if there was one. If there is one, then it will be good. If not, then it would be incredible if we could or also um, access it from within the app, from within where I am right now. So there are three modes. It's um, paint, erase and move. So now I use the move tool but I don't yet quite understand how can I move here. It doesn't seem to work. So I'm pointing and I'm clicking, but nothing works here for this moving thing. Yeah, probably it's because I'm in a 360 degrees sphere and I'm simply always in the middle. Probably if I would be painting on a 2D surface, probably I could move the surface. That's what I'm thinking right now. Here is the about screen. Cyberbane paint was created by Sterling something mystery about language. I can change the languages English, Espanol, Deutsch, Dungwen. So there's lots of stuff, even even Japanese. Great. So Chinese, Japanese, German, English, Spanish, all is here. So you can 
use this app in your favorite language, which I think is great. And you know what? We have just crossed the 10 minutes mark. Wow. And you know what? I totally feel like I want to check out this app more than the usual 10 minutes. So yes, this is one of the few apps that sucked me in and that I want to keep on using. So I'm still going to keep on trying because what I've done here for my first try, it looks pretty incredible. Well, I think at least. Please let me know in the comments what you think of this masterpiece. And be honest, that's fine. I can stand it. <laughs> so what else is here? What else could I try out here? Travel. What happens if I click on travel? So now two extra spheres come up and I could probably travel to them. But I don't really know where I would travel. Probably I would prefer to try to save this first. Okay, so now again, the app needs my permission. Uh, this, you, you know the whole permission system in Daydream VR sucks, where you have to take out your phone? Oh, this is so complicated, and I really, really don't like this kind of system here in Daydream. In, in Gear VR, it's much better. You would simply do that within VR, and everything is fine. But here in Daydream, we still have to take it out. It doesn't make sense at all. Please, Google. For Euphrates, for Datum 2.0, please, please change that, okay? Good, here we are and we are back. So now let me try to save it now. So I'm here back now and uh, recentering it and now clicking on save, saving. So this wonderful picture should now be in my camera roll. So I can, I can exchange it, I can um, share it with my friends and probably I should use one of those pictures that I made as the thumbnail. I suppose that's also because I'm now using the 360 degree panorama um, painting style and probably if I painted 2D pictures my environment would simply change but I'm going to check it out later when I'm checking out the other painting modes. Okay, now let me draw a bit more here, just a bit more, just to finish this. So actually this is exactly what I would like to do now. I'm going to um, leave this wonderful 360 degree sphere painting and I'm going to do another painting, uh, 2D painting. So square format and best resolution this time. And here we are, and yes, nice. So now we have this square canvas here, and I suppose I can travel in this nice room. No, yeah, exactly what I thought. I can move, I can move the canvas. I can move the canvas around, I can bring it closer, and I can put it further away if I would like to do so. And everything works by simply um, swiping on the touchpad. So now let me create some art here. Let me create some wonderful Daydream District art. Again, I should choose probably um, um, a brush, a round brush, and one of these cool materials. Moi. And yeah, let's go for this bluish Daydream District, this turquoise. And then let's start here. Okay, yeah, this it simply looks good. It simply looks fun to use these effects. But this D is already very big. <laughs> oh, well, oh, well. So let's see what, if I can make it a bit smaller. Yeah, still very, very big. Yeah, huge, huge, and now the canvas is already nearly full, huh? Yeah, that's a bit better, but um, yeah, <laughs> that's it for this daydream district. Now, I should I should start again, and I should start with a different format. Yeah, this should be much better for this daydream district logo. Yeah, the new daydream district logo now here <laughs> live on Cyberpaint. Let's see what I can do here. 
And you know what? This picture that I'm drawing here now, this 2D picture, I'm going to use it as the thumbnail of this video. So I should rather make this a great one, fantastic one. Using this incredible triangle brush, I'm painting away here. And I'm going to do some modern art, modern daydream district art. This already looks cool, right? I mean, I didn't even try so much to be artistic here, but yeah, daydream. <laughs> well, I like it so far. Okay, so this is daydream, very, very modern. And um, I'm, I'm telling you, this will look much better later. Yeah, because I'm going to use this chemical modifier again and I'm going to spice it up and it will be incredible. To all those who are still watching, thanks for watching until the 16 minute mark. I did not expect to play this, to use this app for so long, but it really does suck me in. And I can tell you now already that I really like cyber paint and that you, if you are into painting and doing arts in virtual reality, do check out cyber paint. It's worth it. So now here's the district in green. So now we have it here, Daydream District, but it still looks a bit boring, but thanks to the very cool modifiers and textures, I'm going to spice it up now. Oh yeah, and how huh? here we are going to have, I'm going to add some color here. And yeah, here and here. And I should be using the chemical, yes, the chemical modifier because that really is so trippy if you add it. And whenever you, you take a brush stroke, it will totally change the color, the colors around it. Like, look, look what I did here with the district. It changed its color. I don't know what the algorithm is, but it's very trippy and I like it very much and it really makes it look more interesting and it looks like I had an idea when I did the whole thing, which of course I did not have, <laughs> but, I like it. So let's add some yellow here now. Let's still fill up the the empty spaces here. And oh, we should already be here in a minute number 17. And I still like it. Now look at this effect. I really like this effect here. This moi effect. Cool, very cool, very fun to use. And I suppose there's still so much more things that I could um, um, discover here in cyber paint, but I cannot since I don't really understand how to use these effects. Dear developer, again, please do get in touch with me. I would like to interview you guys because this is really an app that I personally enjoy and I would learn much more about it. Like, how did you come about making this app? And, um, how do you plan to extend this app in the future? Are there going to be any extensions? Because these effects here like this one, I like it so much, but if you know um, Tilt Brush on Steam VR from Google, you know it has so many other cool brushes like electricity and all this cool stuff. And I think that you could add it to your app as well. Cause the, the stuff that you have right now, it's great and cool already. And look what I did here. <laughs> it's great and cool, but I think you can even add more, more cool brushes and more cool textures. And they would even make it more exciting. So dear developer of this app, please do get in touch with me um, via email. Write, write to me at sebastian at daydreamdistrict.com and we can talk about when we could schedule for an interview. I would really love to speak with you guys about this app because I enjoy it a lot. And again, I can recommend this to anybody who's interested in drawing or painting within VR. This is definitely the best app to draw in VR right now. I love Sculptor VR. It's perfect for sculpting in VR, for making this kind of 3D sculptures. But if you want to draw and paint, there's no question now after this hands-on review, we know it's going to be cyber paint. 
and you can get it for five euro and 99 cents off the play store and i really like this chemical modifier it's so cool so i'm going to save this now and then that's it for this hands-on review of cyberpain for daydream vr i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and of course if you haven't subscribed to daydream district yet do so now keep on daydreaming and see you in the next video